שליח שם, שם ממש דן סתם. שלום עליכם אביבאדי, זה קצת סיור. We're dedicating this class to the full healing of Esther Bad Batya and Yola Gabriela Bad Francis and Baruch Benera. Bezat Hashem, for my wife to be fully healed. And today we're talking about uh, loving the rebuke. It's an amazing point that God helped me to a little bit see just a little bit of the wisdom in that from Rabbi Dom Hashem And first of all, you have to understand that God has light. So light, his light is everywhere. But God constricted his light in the Torah, in the Torah. And in general, we can't take his pure light, like, wow, he's just gonna overwhelm, so we have to make vessels, we have to build vessels for him. So what happens when a person sins, Abdullah Moshe explains, when a person sins, and does something against the will of Hashem, then he defects himself, meaning he he goes against Hashem's will, and he he what happens is he gets he he has he can't take the light anymore. So he he there's a masachim. How do you say there's a there's a there's something that blocking that blocks the light because you can't receive it anymore. Why? Hashem wants to give you the light, but if you receive the light and you become arrogant, and then you can't, you're going to use, you can't receive Hashem's smile, you can't receive God's smile, you become arrogant with it. And now you're chasing not after God, you're not chasing after the truth, but you're chasing after your lusts and desires in absolute utter nonsense. I can talk from personal experience. And now you can't see the light, the light is blocked from you. That's the reality. So that's why a lot of us, when we go through these situations, when we fall and we're chasing after nonsense, we have to do tshuva. But we're also unable to read the Torah, to, to learn the Torah, because we can't get the light that God constricted inside the letters. We can't get it from the Torah. And we can't get it, so we're not getting the light. So we're, everything is blocked. Every, all the walls go up. And we can't receive that light. So a person... So a person receives, I took some notes, okay? So don't judge me, I'm taking notes. I took notes of the class, it was so beautiful. A person <clears throat> that, that sins in like that, sins like that, he, <clears throat> he has the walls around him, right? He can't receive the light. And the reason for the rebuke, for that sin that you committed, that you did, the reason for it is to re re reveal your humility, to find your humility. But if a person, like me, who's stubborn, who's arrogant. And God said, Rabdo Moshe Kasuto said, that Hashem brings, they bring upon you the rebuke. Hashem rebukes you. And Hashem rebukes you to show you, to show you your lackings. So let's say you fall to a lacking of money. So Rabdo Moshe said, you fall to a lacking of money because you need to, Hashem wants to reveal to you that you don't have humility and you're not, you're not trusting in God, you don't have faith in God, you're still afraid to be broke, that you're afraid still of things. And you're not at all, you don't have the humility you need. So, that happens a lot. Other things like that, you have difficulties with your boss. You have a situation that's very, like with your boss, you know, like you're not talking to each other, whatever. Why Hashem brings you the situation? To reveal that you are still afraid of people. That you still attribute power to people instead of to the merciful Creator. And you're still afraid of people instead of Hashem. And let's say you have a situation with you fall to lust and desires. You, Hashem wants to reveal your will to show you that you really don't want Him at all. You want your lust and desires. You want utter nonsense. So He's waking you up to your problem. <clears throat> to show you your desire, show you where your will is, so you can do tshuva, so you can admit on it, yes, I don't have the will to serve you, I'm chasing after nonsense, and that's my will right now, I want nonsense. But you have to admit to it, and you have to do tshuva. If you only knew tshuva, if you only knew the power of tshuva, my friends, Abdul Moshe explains, and I'm re relying on his experience, Baruch Hashem, that when you do tshuva, you erase the sin completely. When you admit to Hashem, the two steps, 
Number one is to admit completely what you did. Number two is to ask for his help. When you do those two things and you do tshuva, the sin is erased completely. When the sin is erased completely, then you can imagine that whatever you did is erased now. It's not going to affect you now at all. So that's number one. Number two, also, now that you did tshuva, you revealed your humility, you know everything's from Hashem, you can, you can receive His light. You can receive His smiles. What does it mean, He smiles? That you cannot... You're gonna, right now, if, if you didn't do tshuva yet, you, you're going to take a smile and run and use it for things that aren't going to help you. They're going to damage you. So God, in His mercy, doesn't want to damage you. He doesn't want you to continue in this path. He wants to reveal inside in you the mercy, that the will, your will to serve Him. Now, um, <clears throat> how are you going to know if someone received a lot of money and didn't, you know, didn't, reveal that he still attributes power to the money and still afraid of being broke and doesn't trust Hashem yet, doesn't have faith in God at all. If he's not, if, if those things aren't revealed to him at all, then the money is going to damage him. He'll become arrogant and say, oh, I can earn this money and I'm so good. And he'll forget Hashem completely. He'll forget God completely. So a person like that, it will damage him. So God doesn't want you to go and waste your time and get, get things and be damaged. What he wants you to do is to attribute everything to him. So we have an amazing example of our beautiful friend Yochanan that receives. I talked to him today, he's amazing. Everything he has is from Hashem. He buys it in the field. Like Avdara said, he buys it in the field. He goes to talk to God in the field. He says, please give me. I need this, I need that. And he talks to him. And he spends time and he admits on his mistakes. And he admits and he, and he, and he clarifies his will, what he really wants. And he learns Torah. And he does this selflessly to help others and uh, oh Hashem you can see he receives a lot because he's able to because he's humble enough to receive everything Hashem bless him with everything so my dear friends my dear friends the goal the goal is not to be a butler a butlan I don't know if butler is the same word the goal is to be a holy butler to, to serve Hashem to realize that I'm not here to be lazy and I'm not here to just sit back and relax all day. I'm here to work and put an effort, but if I admit that my mistakes and realize everything's from Hashem, He can give me so much and He can he really, I can receive also His gifts. And that's how, if you love the rebuke, there's always a purpose in the rebuke. Let's say you have a son and you punish him, that you say, no, you can't go outside and play with your friends. Okay, the purpose is, is not that you can't go. Really, you want him to do homework. So there's a purpose behind everything. Same with you. You fell to something. You fell to sadness, depression, anger, whatever, arrogance. There's a purpose inside. And that's with faith that you have to buy it with faith. You have to believe that Hashem knows what He's doing. I'm going to continue holding on, continue talking to Him. And I'll make it out of here. A difference. Shabbat Shalom, have a beautiful Shavuot. I love you very much. And succeed, succeed in talking to Hashem. Be, be brave and brazen and talk and talk and talk and don't stop. We're all behind you. Rely on the Tzadik, rely on Rav Dror. I'll talk to you soon. Shabbat Shalom.